Okay, moving from self-esteem over to self-efficacy. Uh, belief in one's ability to perform a task or succeed in a specific situation. I can do that. Yes, I can. Um, in the workplace, uh, when we're given new challenges, a lot of times that's faced with uh, a lack of confidence and a low self-efficacy. If you've never had a job, uh, or never, you, know, not, you don't try a lot of new things, uh, you, you don't realize that some of the simplest tasks at the workplace uh, can be very uh, frustrating because you don't know exactly how somebody wants something done. I remember <clears throat> frying burgers for Wendy's uh, for a couple of months, and you know, you don't know, you might can cook hamburgers all day long at your house, but once you have to do it for customers, it's a whole different ballgame. So, uh, management's job is to get this self efficacy up uh, for the task that the, that the job requires. If it's high, uh, the employee will be willing to try it. And if they're successful with that, it'll build, it'll snowball, and they'll try other new things. If it's low, the self-efficacy is low, they won't even try, they might even quit, and that's, we've already kind of trained and invested in the employee, and if they quit, now we're gonna have to start all over. Uh, they might be discouraged, uh, nervous, uh, worrying about the job. It's gonna cause a lot of stress, and it can, even go back to low self-esteem. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, we have to look at what, where did the self-efficacy come from? Uh, you might have confidence, general confidence. You know the, uh, you know those people that are confident with most everything. That that plays a part. Uh, but also past experiences. Here again, going back to the snowball of. Uh, uh, successes, well, we'll try something new and we might have another success because we have confidence. Uh, the training uh, is very important. Uh, I, don't, I can't imagine how a manager would put an employee maybe out in front of the customers without knowing, 100% confident that the employee knows what they're doing. Uh, so training, as boring as training can be, Training can be fun and exciting and, and new and, and good for the employee. Uh, seeing someone else do it. You might go, I can't do that. Oh, I saw them do it. If they can do it, I can do it. You might have seen the commercial where the uh, person is juggling the chainsaws and the guy's off to the side going, give me one, I got this, I got this. He's seen somebody else do it and he thinks he can do it too. Also, encouragement. If we have people in the workplace, such as the manager, that's the manager's job, is to encourage people, try to build up their confidence, coach, train, support, uh, and encourage them uh, to go try new challenges. So they can go into the challenge with a, yes, I can. You've heard that in the commercials, uh, yes, I can. But I think at the end of the commercial, the guy says, yes, I can't. Uh, <clears throat> so looking at these things that build up the belief of uh, self-efficacy, you'll notice that uh, a lot of these things are external factors at play. We've seen somebody else, we've got outside encouragement, outside training, and things like that. So uh, one of the concepts that we're gonna go moving into next week is Vroom's expectancy theory, and this is based on if I try, will I succeed? Think about things in your life. What have you said, I can't do it, I'm not going to even try? And then you just shut down. Or those things that uh, you say, if I try, I'll succeed. Hey, I think I can do that, I'll try it. Uh, and uh, we have the inspiration from Hugh. Uh, there's a lot of stories on the Moodle about you and all of the crazy things that you can do, the talents that you have. Uh, and we'll be looking into those. Sounds like it's gonna be fun.